Lincoln Riley was already on the hot seat. That seems like it's on fire now. What about Brent Venables? Did his seat get lukewarm? Once again, like, subscribe, comment, you know all that jazz. Thanks for joining me. Okay, before I start ripping into Lincoln Riley, here's some of the good things. I do think he's a great offensive coordinator. I think he's amazing with X's and O's. I think if you put him on any team out there as an offensive coordinator, you're going to see your offense get better, like overnight. I believe that. I think he's, you know, top 10 coaches, offensive minds out there. Mike Leach would be my number one favorite, but that's his mentor, by the way. He learned from the greatest, Mr. Mike Leach. So, with that being said, a lot of people think that he's some sort of QB whisperer. I'm going to argue that right now. Okay, Lincoln Riley got to start his career at OU with a Ferrari loaded and ready to go. He had Baker Mayfield. Stoops is the one that got that guy transferred over. Actually, he just kind of transferred himself. But anyway, you didn't find that player, and he was already proven. He's Baker Mayfield. Um, then you got Kyler Murray transferred in. Stoops again. Texas A&M transfer. Best player in the state of Texas. QB coming out of high school, allegedly. So that guy's a stud. Not, you're not whispering in that guy's ear. Jalen Hurts comes out of Alabama. Nick Saban. You didn't whisper in that guy's ear. So another proven player. Is that enough said? No. Okay. Caleb Williams. Oh, he got him a Heisman. Took USC to the best season they've had in a long time. Okay. What did he do the next year with a Heisman? What's he doing this year with Miller Moss? What did he do with Spencer Rattler, the five-star best quarterback to come out of high school? Supposed to be the number one draft pick. What did he do with that guy? By the way, that guy's in the NFL right now. He's a second string. He just got to make his first start because I don't even know who the starter for the Saints is. But anyway, Spencer Rattler is actually playing in the NFL. I'm not buying the quarterback whisperer argument anymore. I think he's a great offensive coordinator, and that's that. Uh, USC is 22-11 and 11 since he arrived there. They're 3-3 three and three this season, and last year they went 8-5. and five. So first year, Heisman Trophy winner. Looks like USC is on the right direction. Next year, 8-5 and five with the same Heisman Trophy winner. And then this year, 3-3. Three and three. So 22-11 and 11 at USC, 8-5 and five last year, 3-3 three and three so far this year. That means 11-8 and eight in the last 19 games. Does it look like things are getting better? Or does it look like the same thing that we saw at Oklahoma, which was we literally saw our team get worse? Not like a bunch each year, but literally every single year it was like, man, I don't think we're getting better. I think we're getting worse. And that's happening at USC, but even at a drastic, more drastic pace. But anyway, is it is it getting better at USC? I want to know. I want to know what the fans think. This is not a hate fans and hate USC thing. This is just talking about Lincoln Riley. But I'm done talking about that. I want your opinion on Lincoln Riley. Now let's talk about my coach, Grant Venables. If you made it this far into the video, thank you very much. You can reach me at Facebook and Twitter, XX Twitter, whatever you want to call it, at NIL Commission and at JJ's Woodworks. So Lincoln Riley goes to USC. He took the Ferrari with him, meaning Caleb Williams, and he left our guy, a Pinto. Now, our guy did go out and upgrade the Pinto, and he got Dylan Gabriel, which did help us out, but he got hurt the first season. So that first season was tough, decimated. So that's how we're going to start with this, which is Lincoln Riley got a Ferrari when he was at Oklahoma. So he had all the opportunities in the world to succeed. This guy had to rebuild from the get-go. And so far, I think he's doing a great job for a first-time head coach. This is only his third season. You, know, you got to keep in mind, he's never been a head coach before. So he's learning as he goes. I'm going to give him another year, meaning this year and next year. Now, if he doesn't make some sort of coaching change, if the offense is still an abysmal at the end of the season, then we're going to be talking hot seat, not warm seat. The only reason why he's on a warm seat right now is because of his offense. It's terrible. Let's just go over everything. Defense, check. Recruiting, check. Marketing and you know branding, check. Special teams, eh, it's it's okay. It's not, it's 
It's not going to kill us. And then the offense. Not a check mark. This is question mark, question mark, question mark. So this is where he gets a little bit of the warm seat. But we've only seen a very, very small sample size with Brent Venables. And a very big sample size from somebody who got the keys to a Ferrari. Be patient with Brent Venables. I think he's doing a great job. I think he's a great leader. I think he leads by example, has lots of integrity. Something I can't say about the old one. The guy that didn't want to join the SEC. The guy that's now in the Big Ten that apparently looks like it might be better than the SEC. That's in a whole nother video. But anyway, what do you guys think, OU fans? I want to know what you USC fans think too. This isn't a hate video. This is a, I just want to know, like, we went through this. And there's a reason why people make videos over Lincoln Riley. He's probably the most searched coach out there other than Deion Sanders. <laughs> I'm going to make a video on that guy too. All right, I'm done. See ya.